Hello everyone, my name is Ayush and I am currently a high school junior. In this series of video tutorials, I will show you how to convert an off-the-shelf standard 3D printer into a functioning bioprinter for under $1,000. Currently available bioprinters cost anywhere from $10,000 to a few hundred thousand dollars, while in reality bioprinters share the same 3-axis printing mechanism with standard plastic 3D printers, the only difference being the delivery system. In the case of 3D printers, you have to melt and extrude solid plastic filament, but in the case of bioprinters, you're extruding liquid materials and a solution. So in principle, you should be able to take any plastic 3D printer and turn it into a bioprinter by modifying its extrusion system. In this video, we are going to take a 3D printer and replace the extrusion system using a new pneumatic system that can deliver liquid materials. So let's begin. Here's a list of components that we will be using to make our bioprinter. The printer that we are going to be modifying is a Creality CR10. We're choosing to modify this printer specifically because of its open design, its precision, and because it's relatively cheap. We will also be using an air compressor to power our pneumatic system. We chose to use the Itachi uh, air compressor due to its size, its small size, and because it's not super noisy. But any air compressor should work. Next is one of the most important components, the EFD dispenser, which is typically used to extrude adhesive materials. It has a sophisticated electrical valve inside of it that opens and closes when electrical signals are applied to it. We will also be using the electrical signals from our 3D printer's extrusion system so that we can precisely control when the valve opens and closes and therefore control our extrusion system. You will also need syringes and syringe tips. We're using 25cc syringes and you will need tubing that connects the syringe to the EFD dispenser. You will also need syringes and syringe tips. We're using 25cc syringes. You will also need this tubing that will connect the syringe to the EFD dispenser. We also are using this 3D printed syringe holder. The link to all these items will be in the description below. Now that you have all the components, let's get to building this. So the first step is going to be removing the extruder and the casing that surrounds the extruder. So as you can see, I'm using an Allen wrench to remove the actual extruder from the 3D printer. We need to remove the extruder because we are going to be placing our syringe based system in place of the actual extruder. So now that you've removed the actual extruder head, we're going to be removing this fan from the casing surrounding the extruder. Now we are doing this because we are going to be powering our extrusion based system off the fan, so we are going to be using leads to connect the actual fan motor to our extrusion system. So now that most of the preliminary stuff has been set up in our extrusion system, we're just going to jump to now start setting up the EFD dispenser. So as you can see, I'm using this tubing that connects to our air compressor and hooking that up to the EFD dispenser. Um, I'm just making sure it stays on tight because you don't want any air to come out. Um, so there's a port on the back of the EFD dispenser, as you can see, that will connect right to the air compressor. And using a clamp, we're going to make sure that the actual tubing doesn't come loose. Now that we've set up the air compressor, we're going to be setting up the electrical connection between the EFD dispenser and the actual printer. We're going to be using a 9-pin serial port that will connect to the EFD dispenser. And so what we're going to do is we are going to connect two leads to the two pins that actually power the valve and the EFD dispenser. And in this case, those are pins 1 and 2. And so what we do now is we're just going to open up the actual connector and we're going to connect the two leads to the pin out port. As you can see, the leads here are connected now to the pin out port. So now that we've attached the actual leads to the serial port connector, we're going to attach the serial port connector to the serial port on the EFD dispenser. And now all the connection wires are hooked up and all that's left is to connect this to the actual 3D printer. 
So to finish setting up our EFD dispenser, we're going to be connecting the fan motor leads to the leads that we just made from the EFD dispenser port. Now, by doing this, the fan motor will now have full control over our extrusion system. The final step in setting up our bioprinter will be screwing in this, our 3D printed syringe holder. We're going to be using the screws that we removed from the actual extruder and it will essentially be taking its place. So now our printer is almost ready to print biomaterials. In the next video I will be showing you how to make a cellulose acetate solution and mount the syringe onto the actual printer. So I'll see you guys in the next video.